Hey guys, Repairman here, and this is the castle tour of June 2nd. Uh, so anyways, drop down from our spawn point into this pool, and you'll get some basic starter gear and a map. Uh, probably going to see what we can do about shifting that a little bit over, having a drop point a little further away from my castle. But, um, yeah, so anyways, we head over this way up the ramp, across the drawbridge, here's my castle, the nether castle, it's the central hub of the server, press this button, close the drawbridge, there's the wood castle across the ocean there, alright, lowered the drawbridge, lava door, and I'm going to put probably another regular physical gate so in case they have fire resistance that'll stop them too so uh, we have a littering launcher also down here I got uh, uh, obsidian room which is for TNT testing this is the front courtyard of the castle the item sorter sorts basically everything in the game stackable and even quite a number of non stackable items which I'll explain later so there's four there's five input chests the center one which this one goes through a 30 furnace super cooker first and uh, cooks a lot of different items there's a sort it sorts out quite a numerous different things puts it in the furnace like the clays or terracotta whatever you want to call it cobblestone nether rack lots of various things um, but then these outer four chests that are in the corners sunken into the ground these ones just go into the pipeline and go into the item elevator item elevator then goes around the whole sorter there's 512 different sorting machines then after that it drops down over here by the elevator this last fourth row goes down into the ground over here into the bulk storage room where is then stored into a shaka box once the shaka box is full of cobblestone or set item it will detect it crush it put it into these chests these three chests and hoppers hold about 300,000 items this whole room has about 10 so it holds about 3 million items yeah so that's some bulk storage and then we, as we get more, we can go and add more, and yeah. Then after that, the item travels this way, turns here, heads over to our non-stackable machine sorter. So this machine will sort out potions, so that splash potions stuff aren't destroyed by our dispenser. Um, over here. So this machine will sort the potions, bring them this way, dispense the shock boxes. It will if double pulse, so water and lava and flint and steel will stay in there, get pulled down, sent into a, a pipeline for those three. Shock box will get crushed sideways, put into that hopper there. Regular items, boats, minecarts, etc., and armor will drop down here go that way which eventually I'm going to put a sorter for minecarts and boats I just got uh, I want to get this system operational and there's a lot of other stuff going on so I'll probably do that later today or tomorrow or some other day and then to separate the flint and steel from the water and lava this machine will spit out the water and lava in this flint and steel won't pass through it'll go that way into flint and steel bucket Eventually on the water and lava side, I'll put a machine that will separate water and lava from each other and divide them, but for now, they just go into one chest. Yep. And so that's that. Um, and then all the stuff that uh, drop straight down, like the boats, minecarts, and weapons and stuff, will head on down this way, go into this room, which is the tools and junk room. The junk will go in the corner. Um, water and lava will go in that corner, flint and steel 
And you see, we'll get pushed into the hopper there, into this chest, and then all the rest we have to manually pull out of the junk chest and put them into where it goes for now. Until we figure, uh, figure till I figure out a way to sort all that too. Now for shocker boxes, we have a shocker box and kit room. All the shock box colors there. Kits over here, so we got a redstone project. Press A and B, they dispense out. Got basically all the redstone we can need, and the different castles. Or if we're working on the rails between the castles, that has all a bunch of rails in it. Powered rails mostly, because we like to use powered rails for all our stuff. So it goes full speed. All right, the minecart room. We have item delivery systems. Put them in the shock box. Press the button, it crushes it, sends it to that castle. Um, we want to go somewhere. We press the button for that castle. It'll flash us for a second. And then we jump in the minecart. No buttons. You just jump in and it launches you. Brings you that way and to the castle. When you arrive, if the castle has a station like this, which four of these castles do, you'll land into this cactus. Minecart will get broken, sucked in the hoppers, and you just walk away. Try to make things as simple and easy as possible for everyone in the server. And this is our community storage server. We have all the colored blocks, the walls, the clays, the glass, the cements. We have the wood section, we have the redstone section and tools, enchanting benches, all that stuff over there, all the foods and food related products, the dyes and plants, and then these two are the junk wall right there. So stuff that just couldn't fit anywhere else or yeah. So um, yeah, you can see on the map that uh, up north we have to the west on the left hand side we have the magma castle on the mid north section we over in the sand area we have the end castle a little bit uh, across from that winter biome we have the winter castle uh, now where we're at where the white arrow is uh, directly north up, up from us is a little round peg barely can see it it's got a little bit of faint hint of white and um, blue that circle is the quartz castle, tallest castle in the game so far. And then to the east, to the right, is the wood castle. And to the east and right of that, you can't see it, but at the edge of the map is being constructed a uh, prismarine castle inside a water dome, massive dome, 80 by 80. Uh, over to the south east is a few different projects wood tree fort with a tree generator and other stuff inside it directly south underneath us is the stone castle uh, directly left of us west is the sand castle uh, over there is um, the not only well in the back of the castle over here is not on the map but um, in the castle in the courtyard is the nether portal and there's rail bring a couple places but yeah so well it's just a little basic tour I mean there's tons and tons and tons and tons more stuff to see and the castles under construction as you see there's stuff inside the building because we've shifted the entire building over huge project we have all the auto, all the automated farms uh, being rebuilt up above the sorter so fully automated stuff will just get poured into the sorter and then when the sorter is full it'll trigger redstone line that will shut the automatic farms off so yeah all kinds of good stuff being built and everyone has their own little project um, some people have redstone skill like myself some people are just designers, so they're building castles, or they're building older style buildings. Our server is a castle theme server, so or medieval oldish style server. So we don't do 
pixel art up in the sky. We don't do floating balloons or none of that silly stuff. But yep. Oh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got questions or want to see additional stuff in the next revision of the tour video, post your comments below. Uh, until next time, have a good time. Keep that redstone rolling.